Traffic can get a bit crazy here in Dar es Salaam, especially during peak hours. But surprisingly, the public transport here is actually very good. This video will show you five of the most popular ways of getting around Tanzania's mega growing city, Dar es Salaam. These will include transportation such as Boda Boda, Dala Dala, Bajaji, and the BRT. Stick around to the end of the video when I show you why this award winning transportation system behind me is giving life back to Tanzanians every single day. The term Boda Boda originally comes from bicycle taxis, farmers in East Africa when they used to carry items across the border. Boda Boda, or with a hint of Swahili flair, Boda Boda. Nowadays the term Boda Boda is used for motorbike taxis. Also the term Picky Picky, which is the name usually referred to the actual motorbike. When the distance, terrain and journey is more difficult, pick, picky is used. Simple, simple. Yeah. yeah. Left here. Yeah, left, left. Here, 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 here. Yeah. Presumably picky, picky comes from getting picked up. Picky, picky. Picky, picky, yeah. Ah, in uh, Tanzania it's... Uh, Motorcycle. So in Kenya, it's a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> and traffic is not a problem for Boda Boda or Picky Picky. Traffic problem do not. The trouble is the roads are pretty bad here in Dar es Salaam, aren't they? So it's a lot of bad terrain. Yeah, right here. They're left, left, left. Yeah, yeah. Stop here, stop here, stop here. That's a good. <laughs> Usually I wouldn't recommend uh, Picky Picky because they're a bit dangerous, but if you want to get somewhere quick, that's the way to go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dala Dalas. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and colours depend on the roots. Daladalas used to be illegal, but around 1980 they legalized Daladalas. Then the amount of Daladalas in the city increased. In about 1990, the amount of Daladalas increased by about 600%. The word Daladala presumably comes from dollar, 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 cheap price. Often overcrowded, they're usually run by a conductor and a driver. Daladalas usually run on fixed routes but they also pick up and drop off passengers anywhere on the route, sometimes even shortcuts. This gets a bit dangerous for other road users. The drivers are really good, but they're a bit crazy sometimes. This Dala Dala is imported from China, has one seat on the left and two on the right. So if you like comfort and safety, Dala Dala might not be for you. But it's very cheap though, it only costs about 400 shillings, which is about 23 pence in the UK. Apanga, Apanga, Apanga. In 2010, the Indian Bajaji was allowed on the streets of Dar es Salaam. The Bajaj or sometimes referred to as Bajaji in Tanzania, originally comes from Pune, India. Bajaj Autos, which are the largest manufacturer of freewheel automobiles in the world. Uh, right, right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's an enhanced motorized version of a pulled cycle rickshaw. They have three wheels and apparently they never tilt. Bajaji serve to a niche market and are generally believed to be unsafe and very polluting. Unfortunately, when they were legalized, due to public outcry, they remained banned from Dar es Salaam city center. It's okay, here. It's okay. Ah, here. Sante. Okay. Sante. So most people prefer Bajaji over motorbike because you're not exposed to direct sunlight uh, and they're a lot of fun as well.
How much is that? From 5 a.m. till 11 p.m. every single day, these buses have been giving life back to Tanzanians every single day. It used to take people four hours to get to work. Now it only takes them 45 minutes. That's like giving six days back per year to people. Unbelievable. So the first phase is now complete, which runs from Kimera, which is about 70 kilometers away, to the port, Kivenkoni, here. Where you can get a ferry to Kigamboni, and the bus journey only takes about 45 minutes. There's also a couple other lines that go off to Morocco Terminal and the legendary Carrieco. So this journey is 650 shillings, which is less than half a dollar. The 29 stations have been designed to carry up to 300,000 passengers per day. At the moment it's only carrying 100,000. But this is increasing rapidly as people are starting to realise it's cheaper and more convenient than any other method. There's even five more phases lines to be constructed after this. It's quite busy at this time in the morning. It's impressive having a clear road ahead and AC as well. open when there's AC. But it's a lot quicker than driving, that's for sure. With the population to increase to about 20 million in the next 10 years, the Dar es Salaam Rapid Transport System will help reduce congestion and enhance mega growth for Dar es Salaam. And more importantly, improve quality of life for Tanzanians. <laughs>